He was the master of the most uncontrollable pitch baseball has ever seen, an offering so confusing that its name, the knuckleball, is actually a misnomer. Phil Necro dug his fingernails into the baseball seams and carved out a legend, eventually earning a plaque in Cooperstown. It was a career summed up by his dedication to a pitch that can be as confounding as it is unhittable. Born April 1, 1939 in Blaine, Ohio, Philip Henry Necro was taught the knuckler by his father. He emerged from Ohio coal mine country as a conventional pitching prospect, resisting the knuckleball until a minor league manager told him to, quote, throw the knuckler or go home. While learning to trust the pitch, Necro ascended through the Braves minor league system, and his success eventually forced the team to take a chance on a knuckleballer as a starting pitcher. By 1967, Necro was one of the top pitchers in the game, leading the NL that year with an ERA of 1.87. Following a 23-13 season in 1969 that firmly established him as one of baseball's best, the durable Necro consistently piled up innings and perplexed batters. The fluttering knuckler danced throughout the summers in the Atlanta heat, and by his late 30s, Necro became an absolute workhorse, averaging 335 innings a season from 1977 through 79, and becoming the last pitcher to post back-to-back -back seasons of at least 300 innings pitched. He won 121 games after turning 40, and retired with 318 victories over the course of 5,404 innings, the fourth most all-time, and the most of any pitcher whose career started in the live ball era. Necro and his brother Joe, another knuckleballer, hold the record for the most victories by a brother combination with 539. Phil Necro was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1997.